Hey everyone, what's up? Today we are going to make this Chemex look as shiny and new as this Chemex. Ta-da! So online you will find different versions and different ways to clean your craft brewers um, from just soap and lemons and vinegar and ice and salt. You name it, it's all there and those are very good for daily, weekly maintenance but every so often a brewer just needs some really deep cleaning and some TLC. So there are many different cleaning solutions out there and the differences between them really are a matter of your preference and what works for you um, with your maintenance schedule. Um, over here we have two different solutions that are actually usually used for back flushing for espresso machines. So if you're someone that has an espresso machine, you can also use these for a manual brewer if you have that as well. Today we are going to be using the full circle cleaning powder and the cleaning process for most of these uh, cleaners are essentially the same, but you do always want to make sure that you are reading the instructions that are given by each manufacturer in case there is any differences. So before you clean the Chemex, you just want to make sure that you remove the collar and the uh, strap that's around it. So that just so you protect these wooden features, which you can always replace if they were wearing over time or if the leather gets a little bit rough, you can always, you know. We do sell replacement collars on our website, but to keep them long living, we will take them off. So you have a bare Chemex. We are going to take one packet of our full circle and you're going to just dump it immediately in there. I boiled some water beforehand with our kettle. You don't have to do this, you do want to use warm water. Um, I personally find and like the idea of having it being hot. So I'm just boiling this ahead of time, just took it off the heat for just a little bit. And I'm just going to um, put that into our Chemex. Now, for one packet, you want to use one liter of water. I'm going to stop that for a moment and just kind of swish that around just to kind of help it out dissolve and distribute it. And then I'm going to continue that. And this kettle holds one liter of water, so I just kind of filled it up to its max level, and I'm just going to allow this to drain completely into our solution. We're going to swirl this around just to get the inside of that craft covered, remove anything that's maybe breaking off on the sides, and let that just dissolve within the water. Once the solution has completely dissolved, then you want that to just soak for 15 or 20 minutes or until the water is completely cold cool before you want to handle it and in that 15 minutes you can read a book or go through your newsfeed and if your friends are very boring and you don't like what they're saying anymore then you should check out our new website at firstline.com it's pretty awesome so after 15 20 minutes if you still see that there's um, some little sediments that are trying to still break it up you can help help it out by just using a little cleaning brush just to break off any of that um, bits in the middle and go around that outside once more. Oof, you can even use a scrub for the outside or a cloth for this rim here. And then we are ready to pour. So if you didn't scrub around that as well if, while you're pouring this out, if you slightly rotate the Chemex as you pour, it'll kind of help all that solution kind of rinse out the neck and the uh, you know upper spout as well. So you want to pour all that out. I'm going to take a cloth and just kind of wipe around the outside of that as well. And then you just want to give this a good few rinses. And what I like about the full circle cleaner is that um, it doesn't really have a very strong chemical smell because it doesn't have phosphates in it. So I think it's a little bit gentler, especially on a brewer like the Chemex, where you know that's really just what you're using and it's not really going through a machine or anything like that. So I personally like using it for that reason. You know, lay out your towel, let the Chemex air dry. But even from at this point, you can just see the difference that it was from when we first started. We're gonna let this air dry and a lot of times when you do let certain things like this air dry, you might get um, residual water spots, which the, you know you know that the brewer is clean, but sometimes those little water spots just ruin the perfect picture, right? So um, what my solution for that that I personally like to do is just take a little bit of rubbing alcohol on a um, paper towel 
and just wiping it on the outside just to get rid of those little um, dried spots from the water and you will have a sparkly perfect Chemex. Once the Chemex is fully dry and you've polished it to your liking, you can put that back on and it'll be ready and good and perfect to use. And there we have our clean, sparkling new Chemex. If you found this little walkthrough through deep cleaning the Chemex helpful, please give us a thumbs up. We will be linking all of the cleaning agents that were featured in this video and more in the description. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. We love to hear your feedback. I'm Lindsay with First Line Equipment, and thanks for watching.